Okay, brilliant. Thank you very, very much. Um, so the next performer um, is, is a, a, a good friend from the Brussels Folk Club. A lot of the people performing tonight have been, have been performing there um, and are performing in the folk scene around uh, the country. Marika is, is also a, a kindred spirit of ours uh, because she, she works with refugees uh, and she has a very special program which I hope she'll tell us a little bit about, uh, which is about helping People have experienced terrible things when they've been migrating and, and coming into this country into song and poetry. Um, and uh, she'll tell you more about it, but please put your hands together for America. Do you hear the ukulele? Sure. Is there is there any any individual volume. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, so, okay, well, I'll just, I'll tell you a little bit about myself while we're, we're getting started here. My name is Marika, and I'm going up on tiptoe, so I think that means this is still too high. Um, yeah, okay. Well, at least I got my name out. It was my grandmother's name, she was from Latvia, but I'm told that it's also a Dutch name, Marika. So I think, um, I think I'm just kind of like a, a person of the world, because every country I go to says, no, no, it's not Latvian, it's German. No, no, it's Greek. <laughs> so, um, so I'm from the United States, and I, I grew up playing the piano, but since I move quite a bit, the piano got a little bit um, cumbersome, even with wheels. So the ukulele was much more, you know, mobile. And I write music with people from their stories. And so since I moved here to Brussels, I've been volunteering at the Petit Chateau, Kleine Castilje. And um, I work with a woman who's a poet, Sarah Reader Harris, and we invite people to, we post a, a big piece of paper on the wall and people share words and phrases, sometimes about their experience, sometimes about their hopes and dreams, you know, whatever, you know, they, whatever they're kind of feeling comfortable sharing in any language. And I'm gonna share some of those songs this evening. I think Melvin played a song called Pigeon at the Gate. Was it a, was it a pigeon? So, yeah, and I love pigeons. Um, and so we actually sometimes we write music mostly with the pigeons of Petit Chateau because we're, we stand outside and, you know, the weather is, um, it's pretty beautiful here in, in Brussels, but not always as warm as um, other places. And so we have a song that we started writing with children from Eritrea and we were sharing, um, you know, we we're writing words in English and then in their language for different animals. And then we noticed that there was a pigeon with a broken wing. And for me, I think, uh, you know, pigeons are kind of this species of animal that are often either ignored or like really vilified, like really detested because they're dirty and they're, you know, they're, um, 
they're like hobbling around on their feet and they're annoying and they're pests. And I see them as real survivors. And um, you know, and I see them as this animal that we like, it, you know, it can be a person, it could be another species, another being that we share the world with, but that you know, can, it can be um, more convenient to ignore because maybe it keeps us from thinking about you know, things that are uncomfortable. So we wrote this song that's called The Pigeon Song and does the, the entire song does not have the word pigeon in it, but it is The Pigeon Song. <laughs> And um, I'm going to ease you in. I actually brought some instruments for you to play, but I'll play this one first. And you see how you feel sitting there wishing that you were like playing some rhythm with me. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. So this is called the Pigeon Song. Can you hear that OK? to the, the refugee center, I was going for, for at least like, you know, three or four months when I realized that, um, that the people there were like, well, you're the musician, I'm not a musician. And I experienced this with people that I've written music with where they say, you know, I don't have a good, I don't have a good voice, I can't sing, na na na. And I, I think that regardless of whether we have an instrument, we have built-in instruments, you know, they're just, they're like part of our being, rhythm is part of our being. And so, 
I went and I, um, I found a music store where I tried out every single rhythm instrument they had, bless their hearts. <laughs> I just played them all for a while because I wanted different sounds. So, um, hey Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Will you be my volunteer? All right. So if you're feeling like, oh, it'd be really fun yeah. to like join the band, yeah. there's just one that confuses people. That's like, yeah, you know, Dahi's not yeah, here to yell at me, so there you go. Just need to collect them again after. Other musicians don't like to hear egg shakers, you know, other things. So this next song that I'm going to sing, I wrote with um, a, um, a resident from Petit Chateau from Gaza, and a woman from Romania, a friend of mine from Poland. So, and yeah, now everyone's just going to be shaking. But we wrote this song that was really about this, this idea that if we can create empathy, then we can create solidarity. And really the idea is to try as much as we can to, at least in the United States, we have this saying to like stand in another person's shoes, to try to feel what they feel, which is really challenging. You know, I'm sure that we'll get some kind of like virtual reality, you know, technological tool to help us do that. But I think music is one way that we can experience that. We can listen to a person's story and play along. So I'm going to play this song. It's called The Hand That Hurts Can Also Heal. And you can just like, yeah, smooth and soulful to ease you in. I think we can take this on the road. I have a really big budget. <laughs> on my husband's student visa.
from Armenia. And this woman wrote, uh, um, you know, in her native language, let me be free like a smile, and she drew a smiley face on the page. And then, you know, so we often have these discussions then about like, you know, translating from one language to another, which, you know, doesn't always translate. And these happen to be songs in English, but we do have, I've written, you know, songs with multiple languages. But this song in particular uh, was, you know, kind of an interesting song because it's this idea of like, you know, really, I mean, we have we have all of these um, we have all these barriers set in place that are real, but they're not real, and they come from a place of fear, which really isn't real either. And the things that are real are, you know, our our joy and our our own individual thoughts, our own emotions, which really are are only ours. Mm. So this song is called "Let Me Be Free," and if I'm brave enough, mm. I will sing. There's like a so I'm like not a rapper by any means. But there is a spoken word component that um, my, my co-volunteer Sarah and I wrote um, that I've never played in front of people because so, I'm kind of like shy and slash, you know, fear that's not real, feels really real. Um, so we'll see if when we get there, I'll, I'll do it for you. And if I do, please be gentle, you know, with me. Like, no, I, don't, I haven't seen any tomatoes, but. So this is called Let Me Be Free. And if you, you hear the chorus and then you want to kind of start singing along, please do. Play your instruments. I'll play the chords right. Separation, mistrust and hate, the only way forward. 
of dialogue and languages from many different people, but it started from an, an older gentleman from Syria, and it started in Arabic, and then it was like translated into French, and then like, like Dutch and English. And um, the idea that, um, that this fellow was sharing was just this, I, I mean, so here's a person coming from Syria, right, you know, not, um, not a very peaceful place at the moment. But he really wanted to, and I, I, I have noticed this with a lot of the songs that, that, that we've written, is that people are sharing these you know, monumentally positive and optimistic ideas and hopes for the world, um, you know, transcending borders, and you know, our skin may be a different color, but our blood is the same. I mean, really, you know, our hearts are, our hearts, are hearts. Um, and this, this fellow is saying, you know, if I could be a word, that I would, I would want to be a word of hope and love, and I would want to live in every home and, and make the world you know, a more loving, safe, peaceful place. So, um, so I hope you've got like a little bit left in your, <laughs> your wrist, or your, you know, whatever you've got, shake what you got. So this is called I Am A Word. And, and thank you again. Phil and Andy and to all of you for being here. I think this is how it this is how it works.